Hello, welcome to Bar 20 Arms. Today we're going to talk about uh, something that's hot on the liberals' minds, and that's gun control. And, uh, well, we feel like there's not going to much happen because everyone out there should belong to the NRA. If you're not an NRA member, please join up. We'll have a link below going to their website, which is real easy, nra.com. Um, yeah, they're, they're the basically the only... Um, the only voice that we have in Washington, NRA, and apparently the liberals are very scared of them. So uh, <laughs> they've really been. Uh, some of them have even uh, have uh, posted death threats and that kind of stuff. So uh, you need to belong to the NRA. Absolutely. And another thing you can do is go to your uh, legislature, your uh, your representative, and uh, and call them, talk to them. Tell them how you feel and tell them no new gun laws. So we got enough gun laws out there. If they just uh, if they just follow the laws that we have, we'll be fine. Absolutely. And you can find all that information on how to contact at um, at your state.gov uh, website. You can find the local representative. You would be actually very surprised at the subcommittees and and committees that are, are oversights for this and 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 the, uh, you know our. our put in place by the people, by you. So you can go to that and they may live two doors down from you. You go down and uh, you know you can write them, call them, all their information will be there. You can write them, email them, call them, and, and we highly encourage you to do so. It's important. If no one says a word, then they, they go by what they think is right, you know, what they, what they believe. But if everybody stands up together and says, no, we're not doing this. This is the way it needs to be. Um, something will happen, you know. So we we can make a change, but we got to do it. We got to all stand together on this. Yep. Now is the time. And some of our previous videos, we've uh, taken some white-tailed deer with an AR-10 and an AR-15 and a 300 blackout. And I mean, uh, it's, it's so much. An AR-10, an AR-15 rifle. Uh, they're high-quality gun. They're uh, very expensive, but uh, they're high-quality. It's a great firearm. If you've never owned one, I encourage you to go buy one. It's it's quality, and they're just a whole lot of fun to shoot, and, um, and they serve many purposes. Oh yeah, so, yeah, hunting, many purposes. Hunting, uh, you know, target practice, competition, um, you know, and then at bottom line, defense. Um, something uh, we were talking about earlier. We had, I had seen somewhere, and I can't remember if it's life. I mean, but I'd seen somewhere where an interview with a. Uh, now, somebody who's ex law enforcement or something, and uh, he was talking about how um, they were asking him, you know, why do you need this weapon? Why do you need this this uh, you know evil killer right here? And he was saying because you have them. You know, if if the military would be our right to protect ourselves from our government, and if the if the government has these weapons, we need these weapons because we can't defend ourselves with a BB gun against people that have rocket launchers and grenades and tanks and you can't do it. So we should be able to have the small arms that the that the military has to protect ourselves. Um, and you know, as you can tell, we are surviving in this room right now with this this bad weapon right here. So <laughs> it ain't hurt us yet. We've no, been, no, no. Um, it's pretty calm right now. Yeah. Uh, just don't feed it. <laughs> but but bottom line, you know, you got to speak up. Now is the time. Now is the time to put away Facebook, and and call your representative and say, look, please, please do what we've you know voted you in position to do, and that's that's top for us. Yeah, because. I mean, you know, uh, if you take AR-15s away, if you take AR-15s away from me, you're not going to be any safer. Not one bit. Matter of fact, uh, I may become a victim. Because, sure. you know, if you start taking guns away, you're going to make more victims. Uh, these crazy school shooters, um, uh, they go in places where they're un unarmed people. That's right. their favorite target is unarmed people. You don't see uh, shootings like that at gun shows. Uh, Police departments or any place where they where they have uh, a high concentration of gun uh, people that have guns, they're not going to do that. No. They're going to go to places that kids where there's no guns and they got that wonderful sign outside that says a gun-free zone. 
Yeah. Man. Easy pickings. Easy pickings. Whoever the idiot was that came up with those signs, <laughs> absolutely crazy. Yeah. A gun-free zone. That makes no sense. The criminal goes up there and sees that gun-free zone. Oh, no. I was going to go in there and kill some kids. No. That's what he's looking for is a gun-free zone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If, he, if you say a gun zone, this is kids in here got guns, he's going to go somewhere else. He's going to go to the liberal arts uh, library or something and yeah. start shooting there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of things to consider here, too. I mean, you look at, you know, somebody that is corrupted in the mind, you know, that is going to harm somebody else, you know, that that's something that they plan to do. It don't matter whether they got a gun or not. You look at the 9-11 hijackers. They used planes to kill over 2,500 innocent people. Yeah. Should we ban airplanes? They've killed a lot of people. Yeah. Um, not only in 9-11, but multiple they tried to ban hijackings. The, and they tried to ban the uh, oil, the oil drilling, right. or the fuel to Keep ban out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they won't ban the planes. No. What no. cars? Or cars. Butcher knives. Timothy McVeigh. He, yeah. he used uh, fertilizer. And you can go down the road right now and buy as much fertilizer as you can pack in a truck. Yeah. You can buy a U-Haul van. Put the two together and you got what he did. And he killed a couple hundred easily. Well, some of the those crazy kids at Columbine, they were using propane tanks yeah. for bombs. I don't think any of them went off. So, I mean, they, anything can be used as a weapon. It's a pencil, a knife, a, a gun, a car, uh, you know. And, and it's been done. So... You just got to be smart. We got to we got to band together here and, and say. Yeah, now's the time to voice your opinion. The other side, they we hear them, night and day, night and day. They got a marathon Absolutely. going. Ban oh, guns, yeah. ban guns, ban assault rifles, ban assault rifles. You know, we hear them night and day, night and day. Yeah. We got a voice too. Matter of fact, uh, we have more of a voice because there's more of us. Right. There's more gun owners. But you just gotta you gotta think today. You gotta think now and draw a line in the sand and decide which side you're on because there will be a decision to come, and it's you know you gotta decide right now which side you're gonna be on. You you gotta speak up for it. If you're gonna be on their side, that's fine, but speak up. Yeah. If you're gonna be on our side, you gotta speak up. And they'll say, oh, we only want to ban assault rifles or large capacity magazines. No, we won't stop there. No. They're gonna keep on going until well, they get your gun that you with a robber or whatever your gun, whatever your choice is. They'll be for your. They'll come for your gun someday too. So absolutely, we and that's, cannot. We got to stop it right now. And that's and that's the very very simple one to share something with you. And we'll have a, a link to this below. We're gonna have a lot of links for you to follow and you know the NRA ultimately to go support them right away. Skip McDonald's for the week for the lunches. Pack your lunch and uh, send twenty dollars to NRA and get a membership going. Every twenty dollars from a multitude of people adds up to a lot of money in support for fighting for our freedoms. But there's a YouTube video out there um, covering the uh, Susan uh, how do you, uh, Hupp and H-U-P-P. H-U-P-P. And uh, she's talking about the shooting at the Libby's in Colleen, Texas in the early 90s, 91, I believe. Um, and well, you got to see the video. The video it's is amazing. Great. Her parents were shot in front of her um, by a, a madman that rammed his truck through the front. Some of you may remember this rammed his truck through the doors or through the side of the building and then jumped out, went inside and started shooting people. And she talks about her experience. She was there. Tip her, her mom and her dad tipped a table up and hid behind it. She reached for her gun. At the time there was no carry laws and, and she left it in her car because she didn't want to be, um, you know, prosecuted for carrying a gun in her purse inside of a store or inside of a building. But anyway, she talks about her experience and how she lost her parents that day because of legislation that prevented her from having a gun to protect herself. And so, and that's what STEM carry concealed. But we'll have a link to that. But very, very important stuff that she covers in there because, you know, that's very close. That's a personal experience in a shooting. And she talks about um, how... You know, like even um, Brady and the Brady Bill. You know, he was. They went to assault or assault rifles as a band and high capacity magazines, and he was shot with a revolver, yeah. a twenty two revolver, not an AR fifteen, no, not a Glock. He was shot with a six shot twenty two long rifle. Uh, uh, what is Lizzie Borden? I don't, I don't. The government schools don't teach very good anymore. But <laughs> Lizzie Borden uh, chopped her parents with a chopped her parents to death with an axe. Yeah. Well, so, they. I guess they should have banned axes, but they would have all died if they Absolutely. would have froze to death. But 
there's crazies out there, man. You got to protect yourself. Right. You got to protect our way to protect ourselves. So, so now is the time to stand up and say, look, we're not. It's bad out there. We understand that, and there's something that's got to change. There's no doubt about that. There's no excuse for these shootings to keep happening. But that doesn't mean we need to disarm the people. That's not. We're not going to give up our guns. We don't need to give up our guns. We need to fight the crazies, not the same people. Yeah. Um, you know, as you can see, this is very passionate for us because this is a way our life. Um, absolutely. I mean, uh, all of you know, I'm not a young guy, but I've never went to a school and shot anybody. I've never even had that intent. Matter of fact, when I was in school a few years ago, if we bought a new gun, our principal wanted to see it. We brought it in, never ever dreamed of shooting or wounding or hurting anyone at the school with a gun. It's crazy. But there's crazies out there yep. that do. But taking a gun away from us, a law-abiding citizen, is not going to make anyone any safer. No. And well, excuse me. We'll have, we're going to post lots of links like we like we talked about. But there's just there's so much information out there that's just overseen because of the the um, flooding of the, the liberal agenda of disarming the people. But well, that's so, been going on. This is not new. No. Um, this has been going on since the turn of the century. Um, it's kind of the progressive movement, but um, it really doesn't have anything to do with safety or nothing yeah. like that. And and you probably know all about that, so we're not going to bore you with all that history. But uh, but anyway, it's in your hands. You know, uh, there's two things you can do: is is uh, contact your representative, and uh, or, you know, and then join the NRA. Be a member of the NRA. Be an active member. Uh, see what's going on, um, and once in a while, you know, just uh, take your AR out and shoot a magazine. It'll it'll uh, stress it'll uh, relieve some stress and Absolutely. shoot some cans and some pumpkins and whatever you you want to shoot pop bottles, whatever. And it's so much fun. Uh, one more thing before we close this. Um, everybody, you know, especially on that side is lashing out right now. And you can see right now who are the ones that really mean to do harm. For example, we had somebody attack our, our YouTube page saying that, you know, yeah, we, it was one of our AR-15 videos and they were saying, yeah, it'd be good for killing children too. And you know, it's like, whoa, wait a minute. You know, I have children. I'm not going to hurt children. We have no intention of that. And that's what I told the guy. And I let him know, you know, we greatly appreciate him you know, coming forward with his problems because, you know, he obviously is thinking, you know, of, of hurting children and, you know, that worried us. So we, um, you know, we take that very seriously. But, um, you know, they're going to start attacking you, you know, especially people that support the, the gun rights. They're going to attack you. So be strong. Stick together. Surround yourself with people that think like you instead of with, you know, people that want to take stuff from you. Because when the day comes, they will turn on you. They will not yeah. be your friend. And one thing I've learned recently is don't try to reason with them. No. Uh, you, you're just wasting your time. Just, uh, just do you know? Do what you know is right. Uh, and we know taking guns away from law-abiding citizens is not going to help any at all. No. So contact your. And if you need help contacting your your representative, if you're having a hard time finding them, um, I. I'm not bragging in any way, but I, I'm pretty proficient at finding people uh, as far as you know representatives to contact. I've done it quite frequently, um, and and if you need assistance in that or in assistance and in, in, you know anything in that manner, just send us a message, and I'll uh, and we'll help you in any way we can to find your representative to to send them a letter or you know whatever you need. But uh, we just need to band together and get, oh, this, yeah. get this taken care of. As you can see, we're pretty passionate about it, and I'm sure it'll millions uh, of more passionate gun owners, gun lovers, just like we are. And we want to continue making these videos and having a lot of fun and uh, and passing on what we learn, and it's just a lot of fun. So Absolutely. Well, thanks for stopping by. I uh, know this is kind of a, a heated subject, and... and uh, not a uh, very passionate on both sides, so uh, we appreciate you stopping by and, and watching. Please, please uh, go to the go to the links below, and and look into uh, these things and pass them on to your friends. Put them on Facebook. Let your friends know where you stand and get them to help too. You know, um, and, and let's let's stand together on this and uh, get get this taken care of. Thanks for stopping by. Come back soon.